we can make pineapple peel enzyme again. It's the season for pineapples. Today, I bought a pineapple. Let's quickly turn it into enzyme. First, chop it up a bit. This increases the surface area. And it will ferment faster. Pineapple peel itself is an organic substance. It's rich in minerals, proteins, vitamins B and C, as well as potassium, magnesium, and other nutrients. After fermentation, most of these nutrients will remain, and they'll be more easily absorbed by plants. This pineapple peel is quite tough. These are the materials we need to make the enzyme. First, pineapple peel and brown sugar. Brown sugar is a bit expensive. So when I don't have it, I use molasses. Molasses is more affordable. This is some rice washing water I've saved for a few days. Using rice washing water for fermentation gives it a stronger fertilizer effect. The ratio we use is still three parts pineapple peel, one part brown sugar, and ten parts water, along with some leaf mold bacteria. Let's put all the pineapple peel into this container. Brown sugar is the food for beneficial bacteria. By providing nutrients for the beneficial bacteria, they'll get stronger, and they will breed more beneficial bacteria for us. Then, we add some M bacteria. EM bacteria itself contains dozens of beneficial bacterial strains, and with brown sugar to help it multiply. The number of beneficial bacteria inside will increase. This way, fermentation not only happens faster, but it also produces more nutrients. During fermentation, there won't be any unpleasant odors. Pour in all the rice washing water and shake it. Shake up any sediment at the bottom. It's hard to tell, but this container can hold a lot. Don't waste the orange peel you just ate. Add that in too. Close the lid and release some gas every two or three days, or leave it slightly open. Put it aside to ferment. After a few days, add a little more. And that's how we finish making pineapple peel enzyme.